Hello, I'm Sajjad. So let's today we discuss uh, how we will create a database uh, dynamic connections in uh, VBDarnell using MySQL and these settings we will save in a registry. So let's we start how we will create this one. So first of all I made one uh, screen so where we use a database a dynamic database connection. So this is the server name. So local host we will put database name username password and port so after that we will create uh, one employee form so the here i will show data fetch from the database so other than is login so at login if the information not exist uh, of the registry of the database connections in a registry then system show us this by default is screen so and this one uh, we use um, ribbon controls main form or MDI form so here we will uh, access these forms so let's we start from a database first I will uh, already create database connection so I create one uh, DL, uh, C one file so here the way so that access so first we create a connection string database so this one fetch our information from the registry so next is catalog what is the database name then user id so after that the password so then is uh, port so and this is by default we set inside the registry so if the connection uh, is in, not in a registry so first we get the connection strings first check that if the connection string is like empty then this information fetch from the registry so next step we will save in the registry we will load if load this information is empty by default we load this one so my database is test db and here information get from the registry if it already exists if second time we uh, open the application so here we will save so first we validate because without uh, uh, these form fill if you try to save so system restricts to i use the default uh, error provider so these all uh, text box checking by the these providers and if anyone is empty then give a me error message so this is the v and next we will save first uh, we save information in the like a data local database and the database the name and the username password and port so here connection string is, is uh, like a create as a query a string so after that this database which we made a dynamic so uh, we access to the database for testing if connection is established with this uh, database connection so we fetch one user if we fetch a record it's mean the connection is established the connection string is okay so after that these informations we will store in a, a registry so after that close and successfully he gave us a message and finish this is the next we will come on login so in a login form so first we made a one here the function if then this connection string not in a registry at the first time the system show as a dialog that screen the screen and we fill all information so then after that this is for if you want to use to store the uh, login information in a registry so you can fetch here first time so next uh, uh, next we load all extra skins of uh, devx controls so after that fetch this one 
so next we come on login so add login uh, if information already in a registry so we will fetch and save if the information uh, we verify with the database its connection is established and your credential is okay after that the information we save in a registry and we load open the form if any exception uh, connection not established it will show you this database setting again and you can change or check the connection string uh, after that re-login again the system is successful so again this one form is load so here we open already made this one so here I made uh, ribbon control and after that I used document manager and document manager helpful for opening each window in a, as a tab so split screen manager we use if farm taking a time so system should say please wait so uh, after that we here the way of farm so first I made this one functions if the farm is already open system not allow second time so focus on the same open form so here we uh, load a form this is for waiting screens so if the form is uh, already open then system not allowed inside this one if not open system then show as a uh, in a, because this form is a parent so in in a new tab so let's we come and we check this one same as the other one uh, employee form we open so next one so we will come to i made already bll file so here i made properties according to the database so i already i made one database here the employee four uh, table table columns so already i made and users i already made one record so this in here if you want to add added play so we will use this BLM so let's we come in Dell in Dell I already made different functions so get employee info so MySQL helper MySQL helper I use this one so here all the uh, functions which we used database data table are executed on query and these all are mentioned in the mysql helper class so we use mysql helper class the execute table and connection string connection string which already we uh, made this one so we access this one automatically check connection establish or not establish then we pass a stored procedure same as uh, we, if we wanted to the crowd operation save so we pass as the object and uh, we use transactions mysql transactions and we will pass our parameter and data save in a database this is for delete with the parameter this is for login so we use this one so let we come and uh, we let first time we open this one so then let we check so let we check we start first time because connection information not in registry so system show us as a database setting screen then we will create a database setting after that we will fetch information in runtime so the benefit of this one anytime if database connection or password you want to change so no need to again recompile and installation all species so we said local host our database name is test db demo so root password root port 3306 so we here yes connection established successfully okay so automatically this login form coming so we say yes admin these information coming from a registry so if we change this one system error okay login 
so our form is open so here we if we want to change this one we change again uh, the information so this is the employee form so system fetch information from the database the benefit of this one so anytime your database connection change you can change each pc no need in this one to uh, compile and to update all system thank you okay if you like please share and give a feedback to me thank you for the next video